Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warren and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is gonna be a little vlog. We got a couple things to do. Firstly, I gotta move my camper into a better area to start my camper series. Um, so that means I gotta use my wife's car to move it. And then I've actually been trying to put on a lift, well, preparing to put on a lift on the Jeep Gladiator for about two months. And this is as far as I got. A messy garage and no wheels. And that's actually pretty tight to work in my garage. So what I'm gonna do is put my wheels back on. I need to use my car tomorrow <laughs> since I haven't used it in two months. And then when I do the lift, I'm actually just going to put the lift outside and do it outside so there's more space. So that's the other reason I'm moving the camper. So anyways, let's jump into moving the camper, put the wheels on, a couple other things. If you wanna join me for that, stick around. If you wanna wait uh, for the next video, I'll see you then. So I've just been driving my wife's car this whole time, which is 10 times bigger than this. Every time I get into this, this for the first time in a long time, it feels like a go-kart. <laughs> Ooh, interior's on. Oh my goodness. Well, I wasn't expecting it to start, so that was cool. Let's move the bike so I can pull this baby out and clean the garage. So one thing with my lift, the twin bush lift, absolutely love it. But you have to put it in four wheel drive to get it off the lift because I don't bolt my lift to the ground because uh, it's a one piece. Or you'll just like drag it because the tires won't have grip to go over. They'll just grip onto the front and then slide back. So four wheel drive, pull it out. Alrighty, well that was pointless, um, never did the lift. So uh, yeah, as I've mentioned, I'll do the lift later, but there's, it's too tight to do it. The car's much bigger than my R32, so walking around the car and I couldn't get the full height of the lift. Anyway, so when I decide to do the lift, hopefully next week or so, I'll just pull the lift outside and uh, do it in the driveway like I did with that. Now you can see there's boxes, crap, all over the place from all the various projects I've been doing that I haven't filmed. Now I'm gonna tidy this up, and boom, just like that, it is, uh, I don't know, somewhat organized. So this is everything for the Jeep that I need to put on for the lift, uh, including that there. And then these are house projects, I just gotta get done, obviously, off camera. Um, so I will be doing that shortly, but it feels nice to get back into the Jeep. Now, I gotta head to the backyard. I will show you what I've been doing lately and then I gotta fix my daughter's uh, flat tire on a bicycle. Almost forgot I ordered this. I found it online pretty hilarious and since some of you think I don't know what I'm doing I am a YouTube certified mechanic and I certified myself on my YouTube channel so don't tell me otherwise. So I just stuck that on. Obviously I gotta peel this off but I can't do that with the uh, 
One hand. Boom. Love it. Let's go to the backyard. Alrighty, so if you think about getting one of these for your kids, just know it takes you about three hours to do it by yourself. So anyways, uh, I took over. This is where the playground used to be. And then I put my fireplace and gazebo here. And now my kid is getting dumber by the day because he slides off the slide and whacks his head on the concrete. So, or on the tennis court, I figured it's not good <laughs> for him in the long run. <laughs> so I had to make this whole play area. And that, my friends, is 15 yards of mulch. And then I got another six yards of mulch I've moved around. And I did that all with that little wheelbarrow there. So 20 yards or 21 yards total of mulch from my driveway. Uh, it was back and forth from my driveway uh, a total of 15 miles. So that was fun. So anyways, I got to disassemble that play set because my brother's coming today to help me put it over there. And then I got to fix the bicycle. Let's first fix the bicycle, then I'll do that go from there. Tire fix, let's throw it on. So I've been using a new camera and the battery just died. And all my backup batteries are dead as well. And I can't find my charger. I only have one charger for the new camera. So I'll be using the GoPro for the rest of the video. I need to grab a hose for the pressure washer and then time to pressure wash. Alrighty, now to uh, take this apart. I'm just going to take the swing set off and then this slide off. And I don't like waiting. <laughs> I'll move it myself there. And then uh, carry this. So it should be entertaining for you guys to see if I can uh, move it all by myself. Let's get it done. Just ride, ride. And we'll never turn our backs Well, guys I am done for the day as you can see the kids are playing there but I'm gonna have a fire a couple beers but I'm gonna start the fire now and then clean up all the tools and stuff so when all the smoke is gone from starting the fire I'll be sitting back enjoying the sunset the beer and the warmth by my you know <laughs> all right until next time